In this video, I'm going to talk about the assignment operators in C. So you've probably seen the standard assignment operator in C. If I say int a, and then I say a is equal to 5, I'm setting a to the value of 5. And that's kind of like our standard assignment operator in C. But there are several more. So if I compile this and I run it, it's not going to be too surprising that we get a is set to 5 there. Now, there are other assignment operators, though. So I can say this instead. I could say a, and I could say plus equals 2. And what this is going to do is it's going to add 2 to a and then assign the result to a. So it's like if I had this. It's like if I had a is equal to a plus 2. It's the equivalent. So I can say a plus equals 2, and that'll add 2 to a. And if I were to do a printf here of a, we're now going to get that a is going to be 7. There's also subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus equivalents to this. So I could say this. I could say a minus equals 2 do a printf of a again. So we'll say printf, we'll say a percent d slash n will output a again. And we're going to end up with, again, that a is now back to 5 again, because this time we've subtracted 2 from a. So run this here, we get that a is 5. We can do multiplication. So I could say a, and I could say times equals, and this time we'll say maybe 2. Again, might as well stick with our 2 theme here. And we'll say a will output a again. And this time we're going to get that a is going to be 10 after running this operation. So run this here, we get that a is 10. Now there's also division and modulus operators too. So I could say a, and I could say here divide equals, and I'm going to say we'll go with 2. And if I do a printf here, might as well stick with our 2, right? And we'll say percent %d slash n a. And if I do divide a, by 2 and assign the result to a, that's going to be 10 divided by 2. So a should be 5 after this. So we can run this here and we get a is 5. And then one more thing here, the modulus operator, if I say a modulus equals 2, sticking with 2s all the way through here, right to the end. So modulus equals 2. Uh, what this is going to do is it's going to return the remainder of a divided by 2. And so 5 divided by 2, the remainder of that should be 1. And if we output a again, we should get that 5 divided by 2 has a remainder of 1, and that is what we get there. And so the modulus operator, again, it returns the remainder of a divided by this, and then assigns it to a. And that's the kind of standard assignment operators that you're very likely to see in C, just because they make our code a bit more readable, and frankly, they're just more fun to use than typing out like, you know, a is equal to a times 2. You're kind of having to repeat a there. It's just kind of more convenient to just write that. And it's very, very widely understood by developers. So even though it's a short form, it's also a widely understood short form. So it is good to use. There are some bitwise assignment operators, but I'm going to save that for a video where we talk about working with the bitwise operators in general. So hopefully this video has been helpful to learn the assignment operators in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.